everybody Anne here and Papa sitting here having my coffee with all of you listen to the roosters there's been a few changes over the last few days but um, my neck is really bothering me and I'm gonna talk to you about that a little bit later but the puppies are doing great so let's see some puppies Hey, Papa, would you mind letting the puppies out? Good morning, beautiful puppies. Okay, we're going to go out. Yes, we're going to go out. Okay, puppies, go potty. Oh, good junior. This one's going too. You just can't see it. Good Junior, you went potty. Good puppy. Oh, I gotta bring their food out. All right, puppies. Look at these little chow hounds. It's not even 7 a.m. yet, and I've already been up three times. No, not, not three times, two times during the middle of the night because they whine and whine and won't stop whining until I let them out. Which is a good thing because they're just telling me they need to go potty. They're very good puppies. Let's, let's see what happens. Papa's like, I'm not so sure about these puppies yet. They're your sons, Papa. Yeah, this one, this one's going to look more like Papa as far as size and color. This one looks more like Miss Nella, a little bit smaller dog, has the same coloring and the same cute little look on its face that Miss Nella has. Look at those little white feet. <laughs> I need to clean this area so they don't get into something they shouldn't. What are you doing? Oh. They just want to follow Papa around all over the place. Sonny's so cute. Oh. See, look at, he just wants to follow Papa around. Papa's like, I don't know about these puppies. I just don't know. Hey, hey, fella. You're so cute. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, you look just like Papa. You're so cute. Let's see your face. Yeah, you look like Miss Nella. You got those little wrinkles up there. Oh. So cute. And like I said, they've already been wormed once and they have, um, I've given them their first set of shots and that went really well. But they're just so sweet. <laughs> anyway, I made some adjustments around the chicken yard so I'm going to show you what those are. I went to the dollar store and I brought some black little, I guess they're oil pans. Um, they're not very heavy duty, but they were only a dollar, and I think that the they will have less uh, algae growth in them with the darker color. And over here, we've got one. Well, there's the other one over there. We've only got two in here, and it is Big Daddy and Campy, just two roosters. I took the other hens out and put them over in this yard. But they're all out free ranging right now. I decided to put the two hens in this yard because uh, Romeo's crew, he doesn't have enough hens. Um, Coco is missing a lot of feathers around her saddle area to the point of bare skin, and I just don't like it. So there's a couple hens uh, that I put in here. There's Beauty, and I call the other one Scarlet because she's pretty too. And um, they had a little rough going in the beginning, getting used to each other, but. They're getting used to get each other. They aren't free-ranging altogether, but I hope they will eventually. And I'm hoping that um, eventually Romeo will go to <laughs> these two new hens and leave some of the older ones alone um, because they're just taking a beating. And back in here with the little daddy baby chickens that aren't little tiny anymore. Um, they, they get on top of that feeder and they knock it over and you see how it's all filled up? 
water, couldn't keep water clean, so I went to the dollar store, just caught a couple of these, well, it's like three to a pack, they come with lids, but um, I just cut little holes in the side and um, zip tied them to this frame to get them up a little bit so that they wouldn't hopefully sit in them and knock them over, and I did the same with the water, the water seems to be staying a little bit cleaner, and um, yeah, so hopefully that'll work a little bit better. It'll be easier for me to access this one. I just swing this door open and I can add the feed. And then just to reach in and give them a little bit more water. Um, the only thing that I can think of that's going to make it harder with the water is um, cleaning it out. Uh, because I, I mean, I've zip tied it, so I may take the zip ties off and just attach it with some wire so that, um, I can take that out and clean it out and when it needs it, add more water. But it's working better. Um, I didn't have money for the expensive ones that clip to the sides of things, and these seem to be working out just fine, so hopefully it'll keep working out. And another new bowl for these beautiful chickens over here. They're all getting along really well. Torches, okay, so that's, that's Mama. That is, <laughs> she's not showing her face. Cinnamon, ginger, and then spices underneath of there. Look at Mama, look at her face. They are just such cute chickens. And torches getting along with them just fine. They've been dust bathing together. They roost together at night, no problems. So, it looks like this was a match made in heaven. Okay, about my next situation, I'm sorry, it's kind of dark, I'm in the shade. Um, I looked it up and it's actually a thing. Since I've been spending so much time, you know, looking down at my phone, with the phone down here, and I usually have the phone in my left hand, and I have it down like this, and I'm using my right hand. So, not only am I looking down, but I'm looking this way. So, this side of my neck, all the way up here, all the way down to here, has been really, really hurting me lately to the point where I can't even hardly turn my neck to the side. So look it up. It's called Tex Neck, and I've not been to a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that's just what it is, and it can lead to some long-term, you know, weirdness going on with your neck. Um, so I've read some reputable resources on how exercises to do to get rid of it because if you keep your head down like this, I mean it affects your posture, it'll cause muscle spasms right here and mine is in this side over here. So instead of looking down like this, I'm changing to holding my phone in this hand and looking up and doing this um, and also spending a lot less time on my phone. So if I don't get to comments right away or if I don't do a video every day, you know that I'm trying to recover from this. It's bad, you guys. I can't believe it. Um, so I'm trying to spend less time on my phone, and when I do, it, it just makes it feel better. I can already tell a difference. Me holding it up like this, I have to hold it up and do my little phone thing like this. And there's also some exercises you can do. I'm not going to demonstrate those for you because I'm not a physical therapist and I'm not going to give medical advice. Um, because I certainly don't want you to harm yourself um, as a result of me telling you these different things that you should be doing. But there are, are some exercises you can do, and I've been doing them, and I can turn my head all the way over this way, and it doesn't hurt as much when I look down this way, and that's the main thing too, looking down this way. If I keep it up like this, it makes me feel so much better, and it's the, the discomfort and the stiffness is starting to go away, and I mean, it was bad. It was getting down into this shoulder over here too. So yeah, I mean, in this day and age, everybody is looking down at their phone. Not only can it cause problems in your neck, but your back and your shoulders. People are like hunched down like this all the time looking at their phones. Well, you know what? Get off your phones. Either that or hold your phone up. Find a way. Um, when I'm just like watching a movie or, or something, I think what I'm going to do is get my tripod, my tripod, tripod um, that my phone is on right now. This is an old phone. And um, keep the screen at eye level so that I don't have to hunch over and experience this. It has been going on for a few weeks now, and it's actually gotten worse. Um, it may have had something to do with the muscle twitching, you know what I mean, when I was talking about that, because it can send discomfort 
if you've got a pinched nerve up in this region, the cervical uh, discs in this region, um, and can send, you know, messages down into your fingers and hands and cause problems. So, yeah, text neck. Look it up. Um, anyhow, I just looked on my informed delivery, and there are two packages waiting for me at the post office, so I'm going to go pick them up. I did go to the post office and I got two packages, but this video is super long already, so you will get to see what I got in those packages tomorrow. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.